guys. Welcome back. Uh, we're now getting started on tearing apart the Civic. It's gonna be a good time. Uh, first things first, we're gonna get the clutch figured out. So, since this is a 97, this has a hydraulic clutch. To be honest, never done a clutch before. So, we're gonna put it up on ramps and we're gonna look underneath and see if we can find where to do the clutch in, uh, adjustments for this hydraulic clutch. We're gonna find it, so here we go. All right, so I'm under the car, just uh, looking around, trying to see what I can find. And I found this. The heat shield is held on by a zip tie that I just broke. Oh, just kidding. Several zip ties wrapped in tape. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, so we've been looking into the clutch a little bit. Um, I took out the air box. I didn't record that because it's not that exciting. Everybody can take out an air box. We've got this line right here. If you can see very well. This is the clutch. Uh, hydraulic line right here it just goes to the clutch master cylinder right there and it's pretty low ish on fu on fluid but it's also super dirty so what we're thinking is we're probably there's a little bleeder valve right here for the clutch master cylinder actually that may just be like the hydraulic pump right there but so what I'm gonna do is uh, we're gonna bleed out all the nasty gross blackish fluid and then we're gonna fill it back up with fresh fluid and then we're gonna test it again and see if the clutch feels any better because we kind of personally feel like there isn't really anything wrong with the clutch I'm gonna start taking out the spark plugs and see what how they look
Ugh. Let me. Well, it was for a second. Let me check the level real quick. Blech. Yeah. Gross. Ugh. That's nasty. Ugh. <laughs> master cylinder was pretty gross. Um, I don't think that fluid has been changed in a long time. So I think what I'm going to do is put everything back together and then I'm actually going to take it out for a drive and see how it does. See if the clutch is any different because yeah that was bad. <laughs> so let's get everything put back together and then we'll take it out and see how it does. Okay, so you guys aren't going to believe this, but literally just pulling it out of the garage <laughs> outside, the clutch already feels amazing. Like, it feels like it's in the right position. The engagement is perfect. It's about halfway through the pedal. I had no idea that <laughs> just changing out the fluid would make it that much better. But uh, I'm going to move some of these trucks and then we're going to take it for a drive and see if it really is as good as I think it is. Driving home from the shop, working on the Civic. Um, I wanted to talk or mention a few guys, a few things to you guys about uh, my channel, what I do, uh, things regarding the Civic. So first of all, I just want to say. I'm not a certified mechanic whatsoever. I'm just your basic uh, driveway mechanic. You know, I make mistakes all the time. I learn new things pretty much every single time I work on anything. I love to learn, so I'm also really stubborn. If anything breaks, I want to fix it myself instead of charge a shop if I have the tools. I put a lot of time into editing my videos, so there's a lot that you guys don't see. There's a lot of mistakes that I make, there's a lot of things that I discover. I try to include as much of that as possible. Obviously a lot of it is super boring, so I don't include that. So I've been having this internal battle with myself regarding the Civic. I, there's two sides that are battling. There's my my car guy, my car enthusiast side, 
and then there's the business side of me, which the car guy in me wants to do as much work as possible to see if I can make it look nice, make it look clean, uh, make it run really well, which for the last part, I, I will stay to that. I'm going to make sure it runs really well before I get rid of it or sell it. So, but the business side of me, me and Scatterbrain Dad were talking about how, how to get the best profit out of this vehicle. So, for instance, with the Ranger that I had before, that you guys don't didn't see anything about, but the Ranger I had before, I spent a lot of time on it. I spent about three or four months trying to fix this little truck. Um, I didn't spend very much money in parts. It was a problem that was deep down in the engine, so it just took a lot of time. It was a learning process. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a sore throat. It was a learning process, so I was learning as I was going. I made a few mistakes, but I learned from them, obviously. Um, so yeah, it took a long time. But what I'm trying to get at is, you guys can do this too. Like this, I'm not. I'm not anybody special. Ooh. I only have my experience with vehicles because all of all the vehicles I've had up until now have been super crappy, broken, five hundred thousand two thousand dollar vehicles so I've been forced to learn how to work on vehicles and how to fix them um, because I don't have I didn't have that kind of money to always be fixing them taking them to the shop I want to try and keep it fun for the channel for entertainment for you guys and it's fun honestly it's fun for me I love working on vehicles that I want to work on uh, if they're a vehicle that I'm forced to work on then it's another story but I want to keep it fun, but professional, in a in a sense that I'm making sure that the vehicle is good. I'm not going to sell some jank, gross, broken vehicle to somebody, because that's just not who I am. I try to be honest. Sometimes I'm too honest, which could which really backfires on me. I'm not comfortable selling a vehicle to someone that is hiding something. The vehicle is hiding something, not me. Or even me, honestly. I don't want to hide anything from them. So I'm pretty transparent in regards to selling vehicles as well. I've sold a lot of vehicles because I've had a lot of vehicles. So I've had a lot of experience with selling cars. And I've also had a lot of experience with buying cars. So I know what to look for, what problems to look for, what to, how to read a salesman, how to read a private seller, and what they are hiding and how to get that information out of them. And I don't want to be one of those people. I want to be someone who's transparent, like I said, um, honest. Some vehicles like some vehicles will have problems. This is a business for me. This is a small side business. I have a full-time job, but this is a small side business, kind of like a hobby as well. So I'm really glad that you guys have stuck through so far. I've had a lot of fun working on this Civic. I've had a lot of fun making these videos. I had no idea that it'd be so much fun making YouTube videos and editing them. I it's It's been a blast. And I'm really happy that those of you who are sticking around to watch all, all the way through the videos are enjoying them for the most part. If you're not, please tell me so I can change. Tell me what to change. But I want to make this as fun as possible for both parties, both me and you, and keep it professional as well, because the last thing I want to do is sell a vehicle to someone that's going to break down, you know, 15 minutes to two months later. I want to know that if I were purchasing that vehicle, I'd be comfortable driving it around every day. There's going to be a lot of a lot more fun videos on my channel in the future. I have me and my brother-in-law are collaborating for a fun video idea here soon, which you will get you guys will see. It's going to be a good time. So yeah, you guys take care. Have a good day, morning, night, whatever it is for you, and I will see you in the next video.